that there's something in almost every category that has some value, even though most of X, Y, or Z might not be worth any money. Hello everybody, welcome back to the cabin. Welcome back to Commonwealth Flipper. My name is Kevin. This is Turner over there. Hi. <laughs> Sophie, can y'all see Sophie? Oh, There's Sophie right here. It's a rainy day. The girls are gone. Well, this girl's here. And they're uh, doing some gymnastics and my wife's doing some babysitting and a few different things. And we are down here. And so Turner had to come down here, which means Sophie had to come down here. And Sophie's behaving today, so. At any rate, it's raining outside. It's cold, it's rainy. I should have my fireplace on the TV, but I don't. And I've left the heater on, so I apologize if you're listening to the rain or if you're listening to the heater. But I got a good show in store for you. I got a couple of items that I want to talk about. A lot of times people think they're worthless, and you good resellers out there, you experienced resellers out there, know that there's something in almost every category that has some value, even though most of X, Y, or Z might not be worth any money. There seems to be something in every category worth some money. We're going to check that out. Let's go. There we go. This wasn't up here too long. Pretty cool little turtle mobile here. Comes up like that. Whoop, now I got it all falling apart. And this one didn't have any of the figures, didn't have any of the stuff that goes with it. But this is 2018, so it's not that old. It is missing a few of the little uh, weapon things on the side. Right, but this one right here sold for $18 plus shipping so not a bad little deal make a little bit of money on it this should have been in the homeschool hustler store but i listed it in the wrong spot so i'm going to talk about it right now and then we'll talk we'll have turner talk about something else in a minute there was a viewer that wanted that and i'm like yeah it's in the homeschool hustler store and they're like yeah i can't find it <laughs> and somebody bought it and it was i told him it was in the wrong store i assumed it was in the homeschool hustler store but it was in my store I have a 25% off sale going on things that have been in the store. Almost everything's been in the store for over a year. And this got caught up in this and we got just around $15 for it. Paid four something for it. Massive buy. Haven't sold one of these in a long time. I think we have a total of three left. And at this point with this big sale, we're only probably making about $3 and almost $4. But we were making like $9, $10 a shirt for a long time. Big time retail arbitrage buy from Sam's Club. And we've done okay on the deal, but I think if I would have had to do it again, I'd have bought just a few less. All right, here's the item I'm talking about. It seems like in every category there's something. So I grabbed, was at the 100 mile garage sale, and I grabbed a box full of McDonald's toys. And we paid five bucks for it. And I didn't even look, see what was in it. I just saw that some things were sealed, and I saw a few things that I'm like, I know that's got value. And the Power Rangers were the one. I'm like, this one sold me. I didn't even know at the time that it had a full set. But this should be 1990, 1995, well, 94. And they were sealed. I'm not sure if they came in Happy Meals or what. This is kind of a big deal. I don't know if people were paying for I don't know. Maybe if y'all remember back then what they were doing exactly. But this is a full set. There you go. So that's two. There you go. Two more. So there's four. I think there's a total of six. There you go. Total of six right there. So I saw those and I'm like, five bucks for this whole box. We've sold a few things off already if you've been watching the show. Pretty good ones as well. They're not all great, but some of them are really good. I think we sold something off yesterday for like $35. So these right here are going to have to go out priority mail, unfortunately, but they sold for 60 bucks. $60 for McDonald's toys, which is a lot. There's a lot of McDonald's toys that are absolutely worth nothing. If I can remember... I remember looking, I, I reverse engineer searches sometimes and I'll go and I'll, I'll just type in something generic like Happy Meal. And then we'll go in and we'll do completed listings and then we filter for highest priced first. And then you'll find the ones that you really want to look for and you'll see them in your head and, and you'll see them in your mind's eye. And then when you're out there, I tell my kids in, in my history class, when we're doing document based questions, I say, assume what the answer is going to be before you get there because your mind tends to find things that it's looking for. You know, your eyeballs tend to find those things that you naturally look for. It's why so many people watch those videos on Commonwealth Picker. They're like, oh man, you missed that and you missed that. It's because your mind is trained to find those things. So train your mind to find the things that are worth the most amount of money. If I can remember in the 80s, it was the Transformers from McDonald's Toys. 
the late 90s or, or excuse me late 80s or early 90s uh, a few different nintendo type toys i know super mario super mario 3 had a toy if i remember and then there's the classic McNugget uh, Buddy toys and then the changeables. Those are worth some good money, too. So you tell me, from your experience out there, what should we be looking for in McDonald's toys other than the things we've talked about? Give me some good McDonald's Happy, Happy Meal bolos because there's a lot of bad ones out there. All right, I have an item back here that we... I should have used this for my thumbnail again, but I forgot this time, so I've got to grab it. <laughs> a lot of you all gave us some great titles last time when we uh, had one of these so i appreciate that that's pretty funny so here here it is right here this is uh the viagra blood pressure cuff one more time and we still have quite a few of these left and it went out 1095 plus shipping it's going to be pure profit after a couple of dollars in fees so this one went to a viewer all right i'm gonna read it really quick little message they left so love your youtube channel just started reselling a few months ago the wealth of information cincinnati picker part-time picker shed flips and you is invaluable. I have a sister-in-law that is studying to be a doctor in the Philippines, getting this as a gag gift for her. So that is awesome. Junking Z, Zelton is your name. So thank you, we appreciate it. We really do appreciate the support and let us know how it goes over. Let us know, let us know if she thinks that's a funny joke. All right, Sophie's starting to get a little ornery, I can tell, huh? Oh girl, yeah. All right, let's go in the back. How you doing, bud? Good. <laughs> All right, we have something It should be, I think it's in this bin, Pennsylvania, yep, there it is, Oric XL. Bought this at a sale. It's been quite a while, early summer, I think, and I wasn't even sure quite what it was. I think it's like a charging base for an Oric XL or something. I can't even remember. I don't think that's right, but it was new in the box, so I grabbed it, and I'm pretty happy I did. I think I probably paid $3. I'll have to go back and look at that particular sale to see. It sold for 18 plus shipping. All right, I was totally wrong. It says new Oric XJ100 cordless ionizer, mini refrigerator air purifier. There you go. Sophie wants in her bed. There you go. You happy in that bed now? Oh, you happy? All right, let's get you out of here. All right, let's see. Let's see if I can read these this time. There is it's called Madness, I think. This one may have gone to a viewer too. I'll have to look. There it is. This one's got some pretty cool graphics right there. I love that. $10 plus shipping. This one was in really good condition. So I can't remember what the uh, actual record looks like, but the cover looks really nice. Let me go to see if it's from a viewer or not. And yep, this one definitely was. This one's going to Dustin. So three viewer sales so we do appreciate that so viewer sale here thanks for the tips and the stories keep up the great work ebay store monks resale and vintage monks resale and vintage so appreciate it hey, i want to mention something really quick because i wanted to mention this the other day and i'll wait for reagan to get here but turner's here too so he can hear this so we hit a milestone the other day where i don't know if some of you may not if you've been around the channel may not know this but the kids give a dollar from every one of their sales. Homeschool Hustler sales from the store, the CommonwealthPicker.com store, to three different charities. The main charity is St. Jude and Compassion. We give money to a child in Haiti, and we do it for every single sale. And we have hit a, a milestone of donations because of you guys. It's really, I mean, it's our money, I suppose, in a sense, but it's only their money and our money because you guys have been generous enough to buy these different things. And this is above and beyond what we're going to do with this 12 days of Christmas money in the coming months, which is going to be exciting in and of itself. But we hit the mark with all the sales lately out of the CommonwealthPicker.com store. $2,000 donated, $2,000. And I'm going to let the kids come in here and join me when we make that next little $100 com contribution, which is going to put us over that $2,000 mark. So from the bottom of my heart, I just wanted to say thank you before I forget. Are you comfortable yet? Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's little two, Turner. And this one probably shouldn't have been listed in your store, but Blue Ridge Mama listed it. Look at that. It's coming out the bottom there. Make sure you hold that bottom right there. There you go. Hold that in there. And that's Little Toot, 1948, I think. Or maybe it doesn't say. 1951, that's the copyright on it. 
uh, the movie came out, I think, Melody Time in 1948. After World War II, Turner, you don't care about this, so act like you care, okay? While I'm talking to these folks. <laughs> all right so after the war you know before the war they put out what did they put out was it fantasia i think came out before the war and then the war effort really took a number obviously on disney's production and then afterwards they put a bunch of shorts together and made them into some movies i think fun and fancy free and this one melody time 47 48 maybe I think those are the two years, and so you have a, a compilation. This one had Roy Rogers in it. The other one had, oh, what's this, Dinosaur, I think her name was. At any rate, I'm sorry. I can't help it. I'm from Orange County. Well, my parents were from Orange County. That one's cool. Sold for $8 plus shipping. It was in a huge lot that I just noticed were out here that my wife had put together, and a viewer bought this, and I forgot about that. So hold on for a minute, and let me check what they said, okay? All right, this was from a viewer, and it did come from Karen. So four viewer sales today. We really do appreciate that, y'all. Nice to find something here again. Needed a pop of yellow in a display, and this is perfect. Love the YouTube channel with the whole family. So, Karen, thank you. We appreciate it. <laughs> you want to tell Karen time. thank you? Thank you. That's enough for Wait, you to... What was his name again? It was her, a Karen. Karen. Her name was Karen. Karen. Karen thank bought that. Karen. All right. Karen. <laughs> You're awesome, buddy. We appreciate it. One dollar to... Save $1 to spend, $1 to donate. You got it. Hey, I just saw this really quick. I meant to mention this earlier in the video, but I often get the question about where can you get stuff to, to buy in the in the wintertime and source. And I saw this and I thought this might be appropriate for some of you folks over here at Mr. Buys a Lot where he's going to sell some wholesale stuff. So at any rate, you might want to go check that out. Brian's a good guy. All right, tell him goodbye. Bye. Hey, you'd never know it because it's been about 12 seconds to you, but it's been about 15 minutes for me. I've been chasing chickens around in the freezing cold rain trying to get them back in that coop. I don't know, you'd think that if it's pouring down rain and cold that you would go in the nice little dry coop, but no, they're going to they're gonna make me go out there and get... Uh, don't get me started about these animals. All right, here we go. Mary Kay, this one is... What the heck is this one? Apricot Glaze. Nine dollars plus shipping and we're all pure profit at this point sometimes after doing this as long as i have you know nothing surprises me but every once in a while i get surprised so here we go my little mag magnetic don't y'all sell these out there because you know there's only like 12 people in the world that need these and i need to sell them to them <laughs> little magnetic backgammon pieces this is black and white sold for six bucks so you know i make i don't know buck 75 on them and look at this sold a brown and cream one sold two brown and cream ones to the same person so they ended up paying like 12 bucks for these i mean you could buy the whole game for probably eight but i don't know i don't know what to tell you so there we go brown and cream magnetic <laughs> black and white magnetic uh who knows another clothing item that was on our 25 percent off sale clothing has you know i mean i hate to say it but during the you know when things get worse with COVID, clothing sales go down. I mean, when people can live in their pajamas, you know, is it pajamas or pajamas, by the way? Because I'm the only one in my family who says pajamas. My wife says pajamas. The oldest boy says pajamas. The youngest boy says pajamas. Reagan says pajamas. Sophie doesn't say anything. All right, Liz Claiborne. This one's new with tags. 15 bucks. That's all we got. And... I don't know. I didn't list it. I didn't buy it. We're making just a little bit of money on it. This one, however, went for more than I thought it would go. This little, I call them BP jackets, batting practice jackets. You know, when I used to coach, we had this exact same one at my school because it was a different color and our little logo here. And this one's pretty nice. You know, a lot of softball players wear this kind of stuff. And it's over $15 plus shipping on this one. This one, I think, may have been Bubba's at one point. If not, I probably picked it up at a sale for a buck. Hey, this one's going out to Nick and April. So this is from the CommonwealthPicker.com store. i got to really fix these lights here. There you go. It's the picker sticker as opposed to the flipper sticker. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to read this because it was addressed to me and then one more and then Reagan will do, uh, I think, one or two more out there in a little bit. So, hey, Kevin, we're big fans from just down the road in Lynchburg. And that is down the road. That way we go to Roanoke, Lynchburg. So we do garage sales all over the place in that area about an hour and a half area i'll go to sales all over but you know we, we don't we don't live near a whole lot of population but 
At any rate, I hate to mention 2020, but that was the year that my wife decided to start her eBay and Poshmark stores when her established small business had to close. Lucky for us, we had the studio, aka the shed, that we were able to convert to suit our reselling needs. We recently started, I hear Sophie behind me, a YouTube channel, Resell to Rome. Resell, number two, Rome, R-O-A-M, as opposed to R-O-M-E, and you know, I. Should I tell this? I'm not going to tell a history story today. I will soon. Where we hope to grow amongst other established reselling channels like yours, we wish you and your family a safe and prosperous 2021. We plan to put this sticker on the top shelf of our filing cabinet in the studio. I don't know. Have I started a trend with putting those stickers on those drawers in there? I know we did the license. Although, you know, Taco Stacks did the license plates, but I don't think anybody did the custom SKU license plates. So. Best wishes, Nick and April resale to Rome. So I'm sure I've never, you know, I went to see your channel just because I wanted to see if I recognized you out there in the thrift stores. But you know, I don't do much thrifting. I in the in 2021, I went to Goodwill twice, I think twice. So the day it opened, back up, and then one other time. And I think that's all I did. There goes my heater, and that's it. So I wouldn't have saw you out there anyways. It's I, I do so much at garage sales. You know, when you all see the garage sale videos, you, that's just one part of the day. So we're out there all day and we can make like two, three videos, four videos sometimes out of that. So I buy so much stuff, we uh, squirrel away those nuts for the winter time. So at any rate, thank you all, we do appreciate it. And I didn't recognize you out there, but now that I've seen you, my eyes, you know, my mind's eye will be looking for you out there. Thanks and best of luck. Hey, and Logan was the lucky one today to get the Enemaan, and we just listed another one right before uh, we started videoing today, and I heard the chiching just immediately after. So we're putting them on the CommonwealthPicker.com store. So if if you want to get a, a real deal Enemaan, I'm unless somebody has a storeroom of them somewhere. And by the way, if they do, give me a call because <laughs> I will buy them. So we do have uh, we're about 40 to go plus all these extras here and we're just gonna sell them one at a time so logan thank you and logan you also bought a mug but i'm gonna let reagan thank you for that all right we'll head back out there do a couple more things but we appreciate you stopping by we hope you guys are doing great and we'll see you next time hey reagan what do you sell at the commonwealthpicker.com store two enemogs to logan and angela two enemogs logan and angela so thank you all we That's appreciate it Bye, and don't forget to get your stickers at CommonwealthPicker.com. <laughs> hey, come on over here. Let's look at this. This is from, and I always mess his name up, is, I think it's Alyssa. Alyssa Goldman. Maybe Alyssa, but I think it's Alyssa. We already opened it. Reagan's like, oh, I gotta open it. I gotta open it. <laughs> this thing is pretty cool. Let me read this while you're doing it. I know you love your collection of IKEA bags. Right there. And it says, uh, even though you forget them in the car more times than you don't. <laughs> you mentioned this hat a long time ago. And after, actually, I have an affiliate link to it <laughs> on the Amazon uh, page. That I, I got my hands on one. Do me a favor and try it on during the show. I'll tell you what, I will try. Reagan's trying it I on right on now. I will put it on, though, so it doesn't really work because it's my blend. I will put it on for the next show. Yes. Okay. But this is what it looks like with the blend. <laughs> <laughs> that is hilarious. I love That's so it. cool. I thought it was just a regular IKEA such, bag. Such a kind gift. We do appreciate it. That's so cool. We do, and I can't wait to put it on, and we're going to put it on in the mm -hmm. show. Thank you so much, and thanks for your support of us yes. and the show. Appreciate it. Bye. Bye.